Moving to a new place, that's stressful. Moving in and finding your apartment is infested with bugs, that is overwhelming. Denver 7's Sloan Dickey spoke to one man who says he's now out hundreds of dollars over something that should never have been a problem. Unhappy and unhealthy. When Mitchell Lorenzo moved to Solaire Apartments in Brighton, he didn't expect to have hundreds and hundreds of roommates. Woke up around midnight to get some water and there were literally hundreds of cockroaches in the kitchen. Since he moved in last week, he and his wife have caught dozens of cockroaches every day in traps laid out around his kitchen. This isn't like one or two cockroaches. This is a major infestation. It's unsafe. It's unhealthy for myself, my family and my small dogs. He says the response from managers at Solaire has been stalled because of the holiday weekend and high demand for fumigators. We left here, went to, rented a hotel room for a couple nights just to you know, try to give the apartment complex some time to resolve the situation. He, his wife, and his two dogs have spent their nights in the nearby Candlewood Suites to wait out the infestation, a stay, he says, that cost him roughly $800. I really feel like I should be reimbursed for hotel nights and, you know, <clears throat> prorated from the nights that we paid that we can't live here. Denver 7 reached out to Solar Apartments for comment, but have not heard back. We haven't hung out in the family room at all. We haven't hung out in the kitchen at all. You know, there's been very mediocre living here at all. Like we, when we stay in the bedroom and, and that's it. He says he was offered to break his lease, but with demand for apartments in such high demand, there's few places his family can move. There's a lot of apartment complexes in the area. They're all full. So, and they told me that there's no other units in this complex <clears throat> where I could move into. He says a fumigator is on the way, set to begin assessment of his apartment on Wednesday. You know, we're really easygoing people. Mitchell says he won't stop speaking out until he's snug like the bugs currently are living in his kitchen. This is just a really noisy headache. Sloan Dickey, Denver 7.